all about speed and real estate. Customers want to get as many spot welds in on this gun as fast as they can so they can get the product out the door. In order to do that, you need to reduce the mass of the weld gun, fit it onto smaller robots, put it in a smaller physical space, and be able to run your parts out at a higher manufacturing rate. People will be amazed at the speed that these guns will achieve. Customers are trying to fit more into the same physical footprint that they're operating in. You don't want to have to throw a 210 kilogram robot into somewhere where you could fit an 80. We want something that can be as light as possible to go as fast as possible, but not take up all the space. We carried over our designs from the RA gun, which is a solid product out there that the customers are using. And we thought of ways of machining more material out of the structure of the gun that we've never considered doing before. That's kind of the process where you get so far and you're trying to find the next breakthrough to get to the next level. We're ahead of the curve right now in industry with the weight that we're achieving on this product. You can move less mass faster, that's just physics. We can't stop thinking, I guess, about <laughs> saving weight. The UL gun itself is able to roll production out at a much higher rate. And with the higher production rates, keeping robustness was always top priority. And through our testing, which we've been in the tens of millions of cycles, it's just as robust as any resistance welding gun that we've ever built. That's carrying on that legacy with improvements. From initial tests and demonstrations, customers would really like the product. Smaller footprint, more robots, higher density manufacturing. And all of that, of course, leads to better economics and more profitability in a highly competitive marketplace. While we're really proud of the UL lightweight gun, we are not stopping there. We'll continue to forge forward and find new milestones.